you know I had to do it. Hey guys, welcome back if you're my friends. If you're a newbie, welcome to the party, okay? Three looks, all safety pins, super easy, let's get it. This first one's gonna be a two-piece matching tie-dye set. So we're gonna scrunch the fabric and put rubber bands on it, and then we're gonna turn around and bleach it. I'm twisting these shorts as if I'm wringing out the end of a towel. So I started at the corner and I twisted, 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 and then I added a rubber band and I just kept following this all the way through. So before this trend, I hadn't done tie-dye since I was in Girl Scouts, like when I was a brownie Girl Scout. Same exact thing for the top here, guys. I will say just be careful when twisting not to bend your safety pins. I mean, not unless you're going for that kind of a look, which may be really cute. Try it. Let me know. If you want instructions on how to do this shirt, go back and check out my other video. Would you believe that I let this stuff sit on here for half an hour before realizing this was a non-bleach product? Anyways, I had to go back and spray it down with some regular bleach guys trying to be all TikTok fancy. So I rinsed it with water and then I proceeded to take the rubber bands off of it. Feel free to use gloves when you're doing this guys. I probably should have because I have a sensitivity to bleach. Dry your shirt and cut it. I cut across the front first, across the waist, guys. You can hold this shirt up against you to get a measurement of where you wanna cut. Keep in mind, you're gonna be folding this over with the straps that you will create in the back. Now that you've turned your shirt over, you're gonna do a cut or a slit up the back. Make sure you're not cutting the front with it and you're not gonna cut it all the way up. You don't want this to be completely backless. You're gonna cut across from the center to the sides of the shirt and these are gonna be your straps. Voila, you put the shirt on, tie it into a bow and boom, you're done. Okay, now for the next look. You wanna make sure the shirt is buttoned up. It'll just make it easier to handle. Then you're gonna cut across the waist again with this you want to make sure that you leave a little more slack than you did before because this is actually gonna roll up now roll the edge of the cloth over and you're going to take a safety pin and secure it you're gonna go all the way around the shirt doing the same exact thing and you want to try to keep these close together because you're going to be threading an elastic band through it after you're done. The elastic band that I'm using, I was able to salvage it from an old bikini, so um, use what you can, definitely save those coins, but you can probably find this at any kind of craft store that you would find items that you'd be using to make clothing. For this part, you're welcome to use a loop threader or an elastic puller, but for the sake of me not having one and this being an all how-to safety pin video, I'm going to use a safety pin. While making this video, I came to the realization that I actually think it's time to get a sewing machine. Um, honestly, this is probably not a practical look with the safety pins, but it gets the job done. And if you don't want to sew, here you go. Clip your adhesive or tie it in a bow and you're fabulous. So if you've seen my first video, then you probably know what I'm about to do with this. I'm just going to cut a design into it and then I'm going to safety pin it back up. Shout out to this chick that I saw on the Explore page. I don't know what her name is, but I saw this design and I tried to duplicate it. So whoever you are, you're fly. Thank you for the inspiration. I'm gonna finish cutting this curve in the shirt. I'm not gonna cut it all the way to the bottom of the shirt because it'll just help me safety pin it back together and I don't have to worry about matching it up later. And then after that curve is cut, I'm gonna go back and trim the bottom. The bottom of this shirt will be exposed, so I didn't want to try to leave things to chance and cut a straight line and it not look straight, so tip, a curve will just be a little more forgiving. Now for the fun part, the safety pins. So the closer your safety pins are together, the less skin you'll show. I'm sorry guys, my hair is getting in the way and the camera's focusing on that. 
Okay. So um, the closer your safety pins are together, the less skin that you'll show. And the more time that you take to do this, the neater it will look. So depending on what you're going for, you can take that for what it's worth. So this is the nitty gritty right here, guys. This is what you want to pay attention to. This is what you want to take your time on for obvious reasons. It's okay to put the shirt on and then take it off and adjust the pins or as you get, you know, a little further, you can put the shirt on and move the bobby pins while you're wearing it. Just be careful. It might be helpful to wear an undershirt under it to protect your skin. Just take your time and make sure that you're not exposed. I was at the top. Now you might have noticed I'm working my way from the bottom up to the top now. No particular reason for this. You can stay on the path down. I just got bored. I got a little nervous that my lines would not match up, so I went ahead and took care of those and then worked my way from the line. This is the last reveal. Comment below, tell me which is your favorite look, and also let me know what sewing machine I should get. Thank you.